Okay, first I want to give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yahshua Mashiach, the Son of God, the Savior. Double praises unto the Ruach Kakodash, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Wisdom, that gives us this knowledge and to understand Bible, prophecy, and truth, and opens our eyes up to this truth. All praises go to all three of them. Now this is something that I just seen and came across, and man, this is just pure wickedness. That's all it is, is pure wickedness. Again, straight up pure wickedness. Right again, again, they admit it, right? They even admit it in the, in the title. They admit it that Tom Brady inspired IPA is selling a gold beer. Uh, and yeah, like I said, Americans still want to sleep and say, oh, the Illuminati doesn't exist. Illuminati doesn't exist. Yeah, right here in front of your face, they're saying, hello, we're promoting the Baphomet. What are you going to do about it? They're laughing at you. They are laughing at you. As I've said before in previous videos, NFL, all sports, are rigged. They're all fake. MMA, UFC, WWE, TNA, the list goes on. All sports are rigged. They're all fake. It's all a script. All a script. It's all a script. Even, NF, like I said, NFL is rigged. It's fake. Even N NBA, which is basketball. Is rigged. All of it's rigged. It's all fake. Yeah, people think get so emotional over it, or emotional over it. It's all fake. It's all script to keep you distracted. That's what they want. Why do you think? in the Illuminati admit that all sports and everything was created. Video games as well, music created to keep people distracted from what's really going on. So again, there. Are, Showing the true colours again. They're admitting right in front of you that the NFL is owned by the devil. The Baphomet. This is a go. It's the Baphomet. Notice the word Samuel. Again, Samuel. Which is the devil. I'll show you. So, again. Samuel. We look up, there's, there's another way, Silent Hill, the name Sam Uel, that's really the translation of it, is the Baphomet. I've exposed this video game before, and it's satanic, we have the Baphomet, there's the goat head, Sam Uel. Even in Hebrew, they admit that Samuel means the Baphomet. Because their name, they're calling it Samuel. They really mean Samuel. Because again, why do you think they have the Baphomet on the front? It really, they really mean Samuel, but they can't, out, they can't put that name on the can. Be too obvious now. Be way too obvious. And then people would wake up. Samuel in Hebrew means an archangel. Means the destroyer. Means the accuser of our brethren. The devil himself. Satan, Lucifer. It's all the same thing. As we see right here. This is the Baphomet. See the goat head. There's the Baphomet. Nobody can deny it. And this is what I said last time in a video game. This is what it shoots out. The Baphomet shoots out lightning bolts. This was in the video game Silent Hill 1. And it, this cat, it was called Samuel. There's many ways you can pronounce it. Uh, again, but they have to call it the opposite way. It actually means Samuel. Because again, Samuel, again, really what they mean 
is the devil. The, because it is not Samuel, it's Samuel. Because yes, there is a character in the Bible called Samuel. But again, what they mean in this ad is Samuel. That's what they mean. Because as you see, Adams, and notice the word Adam. Is that, that's obviously a mockery of the Garden of Eden. This is the way they were in symbol, symboli, symbolically. And again, you see it right there in your face. The Baphomet head. The red, white, Satanism colors, Samuel Adams. Now all you have to do, like I said, take away the E and put an A. Put an A. And there's Samuel. That's really what it means, because again, it's got a Baphomet head. They don't mean Samuel, they mean Samuel. But they're not, as I said, they're not obviously going to come out and admit it, are they? The satanic. So again, first in America, they had the Baphomet statue. That was bad enough. Now they're doing this wickedness. This is pure evil, man. This is what this is, pure evil. Satanic antichrist. This just proves, and yet people sit around and say, oh, the new world order doesn't exist. The Illuminati doesn't exist. You're just a conspiracy idiot. You're just a conspiracy theorist. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, look at all the wickedness that's come into light now. All of it. That's because they're running out of time, as it said. Why do you think all this wickedness is coming forth? Because they're running out of time. They, the devil knows that he has a short time. So he has to pump this garbage out. Because again, he's running out of time. So again, more wickedness. Next, you'll have on a can, basically. So next, you'll have on a can a pure Baphomet. Because once you have a goat head, only a matter of time until you see the Baphomet on it. And then, what are people still going to do then? Oh, let's deny that the Illuminati exists. The Illuminati doesn't exist. It's just a myth. It's just a myth. You're a conspiracy theorist. You're a conspiracy idiot. The Illuminati doesn't exist. Again, ignorant. As I've said many times, woe to those who justify wickedness. For you are an abomination unto the Most High. And again... Put no evil thing before thy eye. Yeah, these people do that. So again, anyone that goes out and buys this can, you're basically supporting the Antichrist. You are supporting the devil himself. Because this goat head means the Baphomet. Of course, the, the animal, the goat, is not satanic. Of course. But this refers to Satan. I mean, it's no coincidence that they have the Baphomet head and then Samuel at the bottom of it. Or Samuel. Either way, it doesn't matter. It means the same thing. But again, Samuel, the character in the Bible, is is obviously different. It's an actual person. But the... The Satanists believe that Samuel is Lucifer. Because that's what it represents, the devil. As we see. We see, well, look up, Sam, you. Again, Samuel. It really means the same thing, but as I said, they're not going to come out and admit it. Uh, you see right there, Samuel. There's, it, it means the same thing, it honestly does. There you go, Samuel. Incubus. That's what it really means, that's what it really means. Yes, it... This, as I said, this is the way they work. They're not going to come out and say, hello, this is what it really means. 
you got to study symbolism the way these people work. These people work in symbolism. Everything is reverse. So when they mean Samuel, they mean Samuel, the Baphomet. Because again, this is what you got connected to. The Baphomet had then the name their name Samuel is way connect to connected to the name Samuel. So again, as I said, if they put the name Samuel, it'd be too obvious. People would know what it meant. Because again, they know what it means. It's in Hebrew, it means the devil. So if they were to put the name Samuel, it would would be too obvious, like I said. Again, more wickedness. The, every single year they do this garbage. They do the same garbage, correct, pr pr promoting more satanic ads and their Super Bowl garbage. So then they do a satanic ritual, like they always do. It's all garbage, man, and evil. And people continue to say every single year, oh, the Illuminati doesn't exist, the Illuminati doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. It's all garbage, straight up garbage, man. Another evil wickedness been exposed. And here we go, for anyone that wants to deny reality, right there, the Baphomet, the goat head, this is what it represents, Lucifer. Lucifer, the devil, the Baphomet, the goat head. As I said, Samuel, Samuel, sounds the same. Well, that's the way these people work. That is the way they work. As you see the Baphomet goat head right there. It's the same thing. And that this is what they do as above, so below. It's worship of Satan. That's exactly what it is. Worship of Satan. So nobody can deny it. It's just a fact. Right there. It is the head of Satan, the head of the Baphomet. Right there, there's a more clearer one. There you go, the goat head. The goat head, you always notice this again all the time. The fake star of David, which is the star of Satan. And as I said, this is what it means in Hebrew. Samuel is an important archangel in the Talmudic and post-Talmudic law. A figure who is the accuser, ha, Satan, seducer, and destroyer, mash, hit. That's what it means in Hebrew. Not to be confused with Samuel. Jacob wrestles with the angel Samuel. So again, but in this case, this is like I said. In their case, where they're calling it, Yes, they are using this name. Well, like I said, they work in symbolism. They really mean this. Because, like I said, there's too much of a connection here. The Baphomet. And again, the reason I was using this anyway was to prove a point of what I was talking about. Because this means the Baphomet. Satan, the devil. So nobody can deny it. That's what it means. It is the Baphomet. The goat head is the Baphomet. As it admits in Hebrew. It says it's the angel. Of the, it's the destroyer. The angel of darkness. The angel of death. It's Lucifer himself. And again, you got. this is the way these people were. Everything is backwards. Everything is flipped upside down and evil. Again, more wickedness.